Hello Z-Bird, welcome back to Mario Kart Wii. Today, we are hopping right back into the time trials, this time with one of the characters I've been anticipating the most. I've been playing all the characters sort of in order that I've unlocked them. Um, and the next one is probably the most famous character from this game right over here. It is Funky Kong. He is known statistically to be like one of the best characters. It's like some kind of crazy combo with some of his cards where he just goes so stinking fast. I don't really know what it is, but I figure I'm just gonna keep with the Flame Runner. I've been doing so well with this bike the last couple of time trial episodes. Why do we wanna mess with it? Let's hop back in with Funky Kong and try some of the retro time trials. Down here we have the Shell Cup and the Banana Cup we'll be doing today, starting with, of course, GameCube Peach Beach. And as you can see, we'll be going against Princess Peach herself. A minute and 34 seconds is the time to beat. All right, so. Let's go for, oh no, that was not a good start. Let's try again. <laughs> Sorry, Funky Kong. All right, I took a little bit of a break from the game, so I have to warm up a little bit but I'm sure that we'll be zooming through this pretty quick just because the retro courses typically tend to be a little bit uh, faster. They're a little bit shorter tracks. For right now, I'm just riding around over here. We'll do a wheelie, don't get stuck in the water too much. I think Princess Peach just used a mushroom. I am not doing a very good job, so I'll do this, I guess. I'll have to do a little bit better on the second and third lap, but we are just trying to get ahead at the moment. I and mean, I can wheelie all the way down this like nobody's business. There we go. Already two seconds ahead, but I had to use two mushrooms. So let's just try to clean things up a little bit here. This is definitely not my best course anyway, so it makes sense that I might uh, make a couple mistakes. As long as we get enough speed here to unlock the fast ghost, that's always what we're after anyways. There we go, got it, and Take a quick turn here, nice. And then I can just wheelie from this one. I don't think I really built up too much more speed in front of Peach for this. We'll see in just a moment. 3.3, so we did. All right, awesome. So back to drifting, got it. And then through here, I gotta avoid these guys because they really like to try to catch up to me and flip me over, but I don't know, maybe they don't in the time trials as much because I'm sure if I bump straight into them, they would but they aren't like chasing after me. It's a little bit interesting. Anyways, we're wheeling through this one. As you can see, we're gonna make a time of a minute and 26.3 seconds. Not a bad start for Funky Kong here. A ghost has been created for Zebra. That's me, very cool. So we can move through this. And I think it said that we got a fast ghost. So I think we can move on to the next one. All right, so let's take a look. Yeah, okay, so there's another one here. Three seconds faster than what we did. We're not gonna worry about that for right now. Instead, we'll be moving on over to DS Yoshi Falls. Of course, against Yoshi, a minute and 16 seconds to beat. All right, so this is a really, really fast course. We'll have to see how it goes with Monkey Kong here. But what makes Monkey Kong such a cool character is that like, you know, he's sort of an obscure character even in the Donkey Kong Country series. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. You got a mushroom through this, huh? Is that really all that faster though? I feel that's a lot of a risk. Or maybe not much of a gain. But maybe I'm the one who's wrong. We'll find out. This one might take me a couple of attempts. But yeah, uh, Funky Kong I think was just one of those characters you could interact with. Uh, in the Donkey Kong Country series, there's always these little side levels where you could you know, buy things with the Donkey Kong coins or whatever, and he was just one of those characters. I think sometimes people mix him up for a Chunky Kong in DK64, but that is a different character. All right, but yeah, he's got a lot of style to him. What do we wanna do this time? Yoshi keeps taking this inner circle, so I guess it's maybe the better way to do this. It doesn't seem like it to me, but. Here, do that. Would this really be faster? I don't think on that one. I'll be able to beat the ghost, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a, a better, what's it called? A fast or a better ghost, a fast ghost. We'll see, that's the new record. Only by a few seconds did I beat it there, but it didn't say. So let's go ahead and retry this one, because I want that fast ghost. So how do we want to do this one then? I mean, maybe I shouldn't try to follow the ghost too much. I should just do my own thing. 
which I would think is just not even worrying about that, but I can't really get that good of a drift there, so maybe. See, I'm overthinking it. Do that, do a big wheelie. That was pretty good. Got it. Okay, I have a little bit more of a lead this time, so if I could just wheelie through this part. And then, got it, nice. One more drift, got it. Mushroom through, okay. And then definitely get through this part, but oh man, that could have been really bad. Luckily it turned out really good actually. We're a good chunk in front of Yoshi this time, so seems like a little bit of a mixture of the strategies. And then, ooh, come on, ooh, that was not so good. Gotta get back ahead. Then I will, boom. Do a big trick, land right there. That was awesome, actually, come on. Got it. Wheelie through, way farther ahead this time. Hopefully that's enough to unlock the fast ghost. Yes, it is fast, F ghost has appeared. Awesome, so let's change our course again and move to the next one. So, we have SNES Ghost Valley 2, I'm guessing, against King Boo? Against King Boo, a minute and six seconds. I think we can beat this one for sure. So this is definitely one of the shortest tracks in the game. So if we make the right turns and boosts and everything, we should be able to zoom through this, right? I didn't get the best start there, but it's okay. I'll catch up. Because I think what we want to do is that there's a shortcut over here, and then I can just immediately drift. Yeah, just like that, awesome. And that's my first time using the shortcut in the series for this track, so that's pretty awesome. Oh no, I messed, I messed up with uh, getting that, but I'm still a little less than a second ahead. Ooh, just do this, and then boost, boom, got it. Looking pretty good. King Boo's still right behind me though. Not letting up at all. This time I got it. I think it's good to skip out on that. Okay. One more time. Ah, oh, I jumped. I didn't mean to. Yikes. <laughs> I jumped a little soon. Definitely a big mistake there. But now I can get a better start here. There we go. Boosting way in front of King Boo. But. As we're doing this, I would love to hear what are your thoughts on Funky Kong? Is this a character you're a big fan of? I think a lot of people are really excited about this character most of the time. And of course, it was such a big deal when he was finally added the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe through the Booster Course Pass. This was, of course, the first Mario Kart game he's been in, and 8 Deluxe was now the second. So, yeah, pretty cool. Oh no! Okay, that was not so good. I don't know what I really did different that time, but King Boo, catches up to me because of it. So I think I might just restart this race again. Darn. I guess I just hit it at a weird angle or something. All right. Definitely struggling with some of these retro courses a little bit more than I expected. Usually, you know, these I can zoom through uh, or racing them in the actual cups. So the ghost being right behind me. Ah, oh, I missed it again. Just barely, too, so. Gotta keep going. Just going to mushroom like this. There we go, there we go. Boom. So maybe not wheelie and then mushroom. Make sure that the mushroom's a little bit early. Okay. Jumping over that, big wheelie. Now I'm 2.7 seconds ahead. And then, now. Got it. I think that's better. Whoa, why'd I drift that way? <laughs> Not good. Oh, man. I hit the wall a little bit there. Very unfortunate, but it's still a good couple of seconds ahead. Maybe it's enough. I was really rolling before that. And a new staff ghost has been unlocked. All right, well, Funky seems happy about it, then so am I. Let's change the course. 
All right, so we're back to it. One more cup or one more track left in this cup. It is N64 Mario Raceway. I think we could probably destroy this one. Of course, we're going against Baby Mario this time. Two minutes and 14 seconds. Let's go. All right, so let's give this a try. We're boosting. So of course, this is one of those tracks where we can really just optimize our drifts, make a lot of crazy moves that way. And honestly, that's sort of my favorite thing to do, my favorite kind of course. So I think right here is gonna be a pretty crazy spot, but unfortunately, I didn't do the best job following it up. So maybe not how I wanna do that one, just because the turn after is a little steep. Ooh. Right now, I'm just gonna keep with it though, just so I can sort of figure out how else we might wanna do this, but we got some lessons to learn. We're still in front of Baby Mario with all that. I could have just been a lot more ahead of him. 2.9 seconds for right now. Wheelie through that. Got that one, and then I can do another drift maybe. Ooh, that turns a little on the wide side of things, but ooh. Okay, you know what? I think that's faster. I think that right there is way faster. All right. Yeah, now I'm super far out of Baby Mario. Not even an issue. Okay, good to know. Lesson learned with that one. First lap, not the best. Second lap, though, going pretty darn crazy. Ooh. And that's gonna be nine minutes, or nine seconds ahead of Baby Mario. So we almost got that double digit lead in front of him. So if I were to do that again, right here. Ooh, okay, not as good as the first time we did that one. Or I guess the second time. Man, definitely a tough one to pull off, but once you do, it's awesome. So definitely some room for improvement here if we decide to take on the fast staff, but for right now we should definitely be unlocking it, and that's good. So one more drift right there, and we are good to go. So what do we got here? 38 seconds for that one is pretty darn good. Fast staff unlocked, no problem. So that's gonna be that cup all finish up. All right, so as you can see here, we got this cup finished. If we take a look, my time was two minutes exactly, 159. We could totally destroy that one. We'll definitely have to work on that at some point, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> N64 Sherbert Land is the first track of the Banana Cup and it has Baby Luigi. Let's race this ghost. Okay, so this one is where things can get real tricky. I could imagine this might take me a good few tries with the icy, icy terrain and all the penguins slip sliding around, especially when something like that happens. Oh my. Because hitting a wall is gonna totally, totally ruin my speed. Uh, and that's gonna happen again. So I might just use a mushroom to catch up the rebound a little bit as we're figuring out this track. Getting it destroyed by somebody racing with a Wii wheel is not something I wanna deal with right now. Okay, so let's get over here, get a decent drift. Whoa, tight turn right there, but we got it. Nice, that was a big situation to catch up with but I'm still worried about this first ice section. It was really tough. Whoa. All right, I can do one more drift right there. Go back into a big wheelie. And I'm four seconds ahead. Ah, oh, right into the penguin now. Just any situation I can get to ruin my speed, I seem to be taking it. That's not so good. So, I can do that, but then I just gotta really reorient myself here. I'll mushroom through this part just so that we can keep going. But this is not looking like the best situation for unlocking the fast staff ghost. I have to drift through here, hoping I don't hit the penguins. Oh, I hit a penguin. I'm sorry, penguin. I'm pretty sure you're fine though. I think I'm the one who took the brunt of the damage there. Ooh, come on. I'm still pretty far ahead of baby Luigi, but I guess that's not the main issue here. It's, you can be pretty far out of the ghost and still not unlock the fast staff ghost. Ooh, got it. 
Come on, come on, come on. That was pretty good. It will be good enough. There we go, that's the best we've taken that turn. So I will just keep wheeling through this part, and then I'll use that mushroom. Just seems like the best spot to get, get it used up. Come on, come on, and then I'm drifting through that. Got it. Ooh. Nice. Now we're really moving. This last lap will definitely be our best one. This area is nice and wide open, so I should be able to do that. There we go. Look at that last lap. That is definitely gonna be our best time, but Funky Kong gets past the finish line 47 seconds. Significantly better, and that's enough for our fast staff to be unlocked. Okay, very cool. Let's, let's keep going right over here, change course. All right, so let's see how our time actually fared against that, ooh, seven seconds. I can see that though. I feel like I could catch up with that. If I had that last lap three times in a row, I think that would compete with that quite a lot. Shy Guy Beach, of course, a part of Mario Kart uh, Super Circuit is up next. We gotta go against Koopa Troopa, a minute and 45 seconds. So I have a lot of ideas on where we could use a mushroom here to cut some corners. We'll have to see how it goes. It's definitely a very different track without the bombardment of items that usually happens around here. But I think for this spot, it's gonna be fine just to do a trick like that, drift through here. I mean, we still have a ton of crabs to dodge. And I'm not a big fan of it, as you can see. That is exactly why. Okay, I caught up with the mushroom. For better or for worse. <laughs> gonna do this. And then we just take this way now. Koopa Troopa was really trying to catch up there for a bit, but boom, got it. One second ahead of Koopa for now. You gotta be careful, because on the left, you can see that the water has like a darker blue part. Did that really hit me there? If you're sure about that one, all right. Um, the darker blue part is where we'll sink, so we gotta be careful not to let that happen. Trying to catch up to Koopa here, and I might just do that. It was like, in theory, almost good, but didn't work out my way. So even if I'm ahead of Koopa here, I don't think it's gonna be enough for the fast staff ghost. I think we will need a second attempt, but I will certainly keep trying for now. Maybe we'll get a really, really good final lap here. That'll prove me way wrong. All right. Got it. Trying to dodge these crabs, they are everywhere. They're not very friendly. Trying to get over the water. Watch out for the explosions. Got it. I'm sort of ahead of Koopa for now. I don't know, got stuck in the water there. That's okay, I cut the corner and boom. It was at least like two or three seconds ahead, but will that be enough? No, it won't. So let's try this one again, just straight away, retry. Cause I got hit by what, two obstacles there? And then, you know, a lot of those obstacles I hit ended, me getting, ended up with me getting stuck in the water, so that's a whole different situation. All right, so we're going back into it. This time I feel like we're already moving through it a little bit faster. Okay, I didn't mean to miss the jump there, but maybe it'll work out. Never mind, come on. <laughs> it's always these darn grubs getting in the way. So I'm on the last lap here. What I've been opting to do is just use the, whoa. Oh, come on, why do you have to go that way? I swear they were supposed to get to the left there. Oh my goodness. This goes straight for me, but I'm using the mushroom to get through here. Oh, the first two laps went so well, I didn't hit anything. And now I'm just making all sorts of mistakes. So that's a little upsetting, but I'm still a few seconds ahead. Will it be better than last time? I don't know, we're about to find out. Come on, that's gotta be at least enough to unlock the fast staff ghost. Let's see. It isn't, oh man. Yeah, it really wasn't that much better. Ah, oh, Jesus track. Not one of my favorites. So this time, I just sort of did the same thing again, but just didn't get hit by as many things, and boom, that was a few more seconds ahead. I can only imagine, yes, a new ghost was unlocked. You yeah, got a four second lead on my old time. Not too bad. I'm getting out of here. I didn't have fun with that one, that was too tough.
There's so many obstacles and so many little things to get stuck on. Definitely a tough one. But next up, we have a Delfino Square right over here. And with it, we're racing against Wario with a time of two minutes and 41 seconds to beat. All right, so our second to last track of today. Still might prove to be difficult, but I'm getting a good start in front of Wario here. And then I definitely want to use this shortcut in as effective way as I possibly can think of, and that's definitely gonna be that one corner cut kind of thing, that one extra trail we can get. But the concern with that one, right, is that, whoa, okay, my drift didn't really work. It just sort of stopped. I pressed the button, it just didn't drift the other direction. Uh, is that the angling is really tough for it. So this lap, this track, this race, might sort of prove more as practice because I just don't know the best way to take that one where that doesn't end up happening. I barely get any lead at all in front of Wario for that. So definitely not all that much worth it, but that's all I wanna do for this race is practice that a little bit. Okay, so Wario found a way in front of me there actually. I'm just gonna wheel you through this part, just barely ahead of him. Luckily, it seems like my bike is better for this part because I just slowly built a lead on him just wheeling through. Okay, got it. I can also get ahead by not messing up the turn this time. Don't hit the wall. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Boom, wheeling through. And then go again. So what I might wanna do is drift through and then when I'm like at a good angle, but it just doesn't feel like with how it's sort of set up, I don't know if there is a good angle. That just doesn't feel right. But I am a little bit farther ahead than what I was before. So that's at least good. I think this time we might try for a different shortcut. I'm 3.2 seconds ahead of Wario. I might wanna try to do the pier jump. I don't know how possible that's actually gonna be. I haven't really pulled it off before, but we're gonna try it. Ooh, come on. Come on, just right down this way. So what we do is we take a left into here, and then I jump, whoa, but then the bounce off didn't work out. Okay, there's no way I'm gonna be able to get the team time here to win the, the Staff Ghost race, whatever. All the words. So I'm gonna try again. Let's go for it one more time here. All right. Very focused in on this one. I think taking the left here is still good because we get all these drifts out of it and the drifts are faster. And then I wanna really try to do this one. Oh, darn, it's tough. There's gotta be like a more consistent way to make that one work, I don't know. But I feel like if I could make it work, it'd probably be faster than the other shortcut, right? Maybe? I don't know. Ooh, that time, I don't even know how I did that. I'm sort of terrified to try that again because that went so perfectly that I can't imagine a situation where I can do that again. Wow, um, that was great, but I just, I don't know how to feel about it. I don't think I'll try that again. Okay, go, go, go. Because I just sort of accidentally maneuvered in some way where I was like, I don't think this is gonna make it, and then I landed perfectly. It was like a total fluke. And since I'm five seconds ahead, as long as I can choose a more consistent route, I think I can get even farther ahead, you know? And that is all I'm really focused on, is getting as far of a disparagement between my time and Wario's. That's a little frustrating, so I'm just going to mushroom back into it. See, so yeah, not this time, not gonna do that. Okay, what was that? It felt like there was really like a weird breeze there that just pushed my bike over. I don't know. A bit unfortunate, that is for sure. I don't think I'm gonna have that five second lead in front of Wario this time. Might be a little less, we'll see. Gonna wheelie through this part and, no, okay, 6.7, that's not bad, but I want it to be even more. Come on, Funky Kong. I was gonna call you Donkey Kong there for a second. Ooh. Come 
There we go. Just gonna keep going through here as much as I can. We'll keep it simple. No crazy shortcut. Just enough so that I can get the win. Got it. Do a big trick through that one. Nice. Boosting through that part. Awesome. And boom, we got it. Very good stuff. I think that is enough for us to be able to get the fast ghost unlock locked. And that last one was still my fastest time. 48 seconds. So I guess doing that crazy shortcut really didn't pay off too much. The fast staff has been unlocked. Very cool. So let's change to our last course. All right, so Delfino Square all finished. Um, as you can see, 224, 229, and then Waluigi Stadium is next. Um, with this one, we gotta go against Waluigi, two minutes and 32 seconds. All right, I'm very focused in on this one for sure. I just want to make sure we can win. We gotta beat Waluigi on his home course. Might not be easy. Bonky Kong is doing some crazy mid-air tricks. And then if I were to use a mushroom, why not here, you know? Skip that whole mud pit. That seems pretty nice. It seems like the Waluigi ghost is basically doing the same thing. I might wanna try to, oh my. Uh, that could have been better, could have been worse. I don't know if it's really all that much faster to take those half pipes. Sometimes it's really hard to tell. I guess we just try different things and compare lap times, right? That's sort of the best thing we can hope for. Okay, I got through that one. Do a big trick through here. Okay, that landing could have been better. Needs some work, but six seconds in the lead in front of Waluigi here. Ooh. Got it. Oh, we're just gonna do that right there. Awesome. We're still cruising through this then. Okay, let's just wheelie through this part then and see if it's just any faster to maybe from this part. Okay, well, I'll get over the pipe. I sort of took that way too high up. I mean, I got through it with some speed, so that's nice. But to drift through this one. Nice. And, oh, got it, got it, got it. Huge trick. And nine seconds ahead. If we can lead or finish with a over 10 second lead, That'd be great. But to do that, we need to make sure we don't make any extra mistakes here. All right, come on. Pretty big jump here. I might land out of bounds. Okay, luckily, I don't think it lets you do that. Phew. All right, come on. And a manual like that, and then. Once again, not really doing that the way I wanted to. Really hard to hit at the right angle, but. Got it and drift as far as I can. Nice. Oh, come on. Nice. I think we got this end right there. Boom. Huge when the finishing's off. Two minutes and 21 seconds. A new record for sure. The first lap being the best one. All right, so yeah, I don't think using that one jump towards the end of the little half play section was worth it, but it's okay because we won. And with it, we already unlocked that staff ghost, so that's everything figured out for Funk Funky Kong today. I do at least want to compare. Ooh, so much farther ahead than me. That is a nine second lead. Pretty crazy, but that was still two cups, eight tracks as Funky Kong. Really cool character. I see why so many people love him so much, but I would love to hear your thoughts on him. And we'll see if we unlocked anything here. If I back up like this and then I hop back in, I think I will. All right, you unlocked 24 Fast Staff Ghosts. Congratulations, you've unlocked a medium cart, the Sprinter. Oh, really cool one too. And that's it. All right, so we still have two more cups to get through in time trials. We'll be doing that in the next episode of Mario Kart Wii. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.